What's going on? And uh, I'm really excited for this training because we are going to be building John Whiting's five day challenge sales page. So this is really cool. We're going to be trying doing exactly how he built it graphically, but we're going to be using our systems. Now you can use your own. Basically, we'll be using WordPress with Elementor, WooCommerce and Cartflows. If I'm not wrong, and uh, you'll find a link to these free plugins in the description. And um, we'll be using our system, which basically is all these plugins put together, already set, ready to go. All you have to do is edit the content, add the pages, you know, do what we're going to be doing on this video. So you're ready to go. And uh, if you want an invite to get a free account on that, wait till the end and I'll let you know. Um, about that. So first things first, what are we going to be doing this training? As I said, we are going to be building John Whiting's five day sales page and I'll be showing you how to do that right now. So if you have a paid account, uh, you'll be starting out from here and all you have to do is click on the W. If you have a free account, you will just log in and this is what you will uh, see or maybe you're using a blueprint a downloadable blueprint that you can get also from us and then load it on any um, uh, hosting you want and you will see something like this. So as I said, first things first, this is a checkout page and we're going to have to set the products for this checkout page. Now I want to show you what he's selling. He's basically selling um, access to a Facebook group with um, five days of live training where he's gonna go live every day in those five days it actually says what time here and um, that's it that's what he's selling and he's selling two tiers one is at 37 and one is at 90, 97 and this is actually early bird so the real price is 97 and this one is 297 I'll be showing you how to do that also um, Yep, I'll show you to do that. This is the checkout page. Uh, you will need Cartflows Pro for this or one of our paid plans to be able to choose one of these things, but you don't really need that. I mean, if you're just starting out, forget about it. We will just be offering this one here. I'll be showing you how to, how to do this, but while I'm doing this, all you have to do is just build one. This one here, which is allowed with the free with the free um, tier. So that's basically it. Let's get to it. What I did was, now I'm gonna show you how to build this website. And I don't, I'm not showing you this so you can copy it, but I wanna show it to you as a starting point and show you what we can do with our page builder, our funnel builder. And I'm gonna be showing this, this is really cool. I really like the design, the, the colors, everything is pretty cool. We might not be able to do everything like this is a little complicated, I won't waste too much time on this effect. But 99% of the stuff here we will be able to do. And I'll even show you, give you, uh, we'll be able to even build this. I won't show you how to do this, but if you want to know how to do it, uh, just leave a comment in the, in the um, leave a comment below and I'll show you how to do this. You'll be able to build this product image here. And um, just l l um, let me know if you want a training on that. But what I did here was I just downloaded all the images on this site and I'm gonna be using his images. You obviously don't use someone else's images. Try to build your own and um, let's, let's get to it. So first things first, let's go to our dashboard and we have to set up, as I said, our products. So click on products, all products. Uh, let's see what we got here. So this was a previous install. I didn't make a new install. I'm just gonna add a new product, add new. Now, since it's a funnel, we don't have to add much. We're just gonna call this product, what was the name of it? Five day challenge, let's just call it five day challenge, okay? So make it easy, go to product five day challenge. And uh, price, the regular price is 97. It's virtual and maybe if you want to add some downloadable files that the user is going to get once they buy, you can add it here. Click on add. 
what else inventory link products attributes advanced cart flows good one okay that's it that's it you don't have to add anything else for the funnel to work so just say um, we're gonna publish this okay the product is published now we can go ahead and edit our funnel now remember that this product is viewable so if you want people to access the product from this page if you're sharing this URL then you're gonna to want to add content more information here you're gonna to want to add product images over here okay just letting you know if this is the first video you're seeing but we're going to only going to be using it for a funnel and to be honest you only need a funnel um, then you can start adding stuff to your website but if you use our systems you won't have to put too many things together uh, you just have to start off with this start making money and then you can use uh, pages uh, blog uh, the actual WooCommerce shop e-commerce so there it is Let, let's go ahead let's go ahead let's not waste time too, too much time talking so Depending on what you're using, if you, you're using the, the, download, the free downloadable blueprint, you'll see cart flows. If you're using our system, you will see funnels because we don't like, we like uh, to have it easy like that. So click on uh, funnels, flows, and we're going to be adding a new one from scratch. As you can see, you can choose from all these depending on what plan you're on or if you have cart flows, cart flows pro. You can choose a free one or a pro one. We are going to be start, starting from scratch. Flow name, let's call it five day challenge. Design your flow. Let's, let's do this. It's really cool. It's really cool. So what it did was it created a landing page, a checkout page, and a thank you page. Now, this seems like a landing page, but the checkout is on this page already so this is technically a checkout page so we don't need a landing page we're just going to delete this delete okay and we are going to edit this page so click on edit and we're going to be editing the settings first and then we'll be editing the elements on the page with our page builder elementor as I said, if you, if you want to do this on your own, click on the link below for the page builder and you can use it on your own systems. And okay, so enable design settings. I don't think we'll be using anything here because we will be doing everything. Okay, so products. We need to go cart flows, cart flows pro. Cart, fro, cart flows pro to be able to have product options. So we don't care about that. If you wanted to have that double select on the checkout, you would need cart flows pro. If you want me to show you, if you want a video on how to do that, leave a comment and subscribe so that you know if I if you if I ever make that video, you'll be notified if I do. So let's go ahead and add new product. We're gonna choose the product from the products we already created. So I'm going to start typing five day, five day. There it is. Boom. I'm going to choose it. Add the product. And I'm going to say there's a discount on price of 60 so that the discounted price is 37. This is the price that they're going to be paying for on the checkout page. Order bumps, as I said, only with pro. Checkout only with pro. Form fields, you can only modify these with pro settings on uh, general if you want to change the title of the page so he has bulletproof entrepreneur challenge you can call it whatever you want i'm just going to call this five day challenge you can change the slug here this is the url bit at the end and uh, always remember to say save settings checkout settings this is going to be the button to place the order let's see what he has submit we're going to use submit Enable cart editing on checkout. This will be able to remove products from the checkout page. No, because we only have one product, so we're not going to enable that. Custom script. This is for tracking. And that's it. Just save this. And I think we're done. We can start 
editing the page. Let me see, save settings probably is, okay, settings saved, design, do not enable design settings because we'll be doing it from the page builder. That's it, so let's go click with edit with Elementor. Awesome, so, oh, this, you shouldn't be seeing this, um, this here, it's probably a little glitch, we'll have it fixed, but let's get to it. Now, I want you to click on settings, and this is going to be a template for page builder, so it's going to be full width. It's going to be full width, and what else? Publish, five day challenge, hide the title. Yeah, there's no title. Um, let's start. Now, before I start, I want to set the color so I can use them without having to find the coding all the time. So I'm going to click on this site settings, global colors so that I'm going to, I'm going to reset these so that I can use the one on his page. So let's go here. It's basically all the colors are here. So I'm just going to, I can't close this. Unfortunately, if you have a color picker, use it, pick color from page. I'm going to try and, this is the red copied. Let's go back to here. Um, primary doesn't matter. I mean, just paste it. Primary is basically the color, the main color of your brand. But on this page, it does, there is no primary color. Let's pick out the green. Secondary. Okay. So I'm just going to add color here and say red. And it's going to be this. Paste. Green. And it's going to be this. Okay. Gold. And I'll show you how to, if you don't have a color picker, I'll show you how to do that. In a second, gold, paste it. Now the last one should be blue, I think. Yeah. So there it is, blue. Pick. It's probably cyan. So now we have these colors that we're, we can pick up, um, we can choose while we're designing our page. We'll just save it in a bit. I want to see if there's some, the text is not really black. A lot of people are, don't know this design trick. Don't ever use full black or full, full white because it looks bad. So the text is actually this color, which is not completely black. What else? What else? What else? Nothing else. Okay, so let's start. We save the colors. Now we want the fonts. To discover the font of a page, you'll go to inspect and uh, make sure this is, and then select it. And it says right there, Barlow. I don't know if you can see it. 58px Barlow and it shows you in the color. So then you just copy that code and you know you get also the color. That's what I want to show you if you don't have a color picker. So Barlow is the font of the heading. I want to see the font of the main text, which is this. It's basically only Open Sans. So there's two fonts here, Barlow and Open Sans. So that's it. We're just going to use those fonts. Let's go back to our so global colors is done let's go back global fonts let's go ahead uh primary is open sans and uh wait wait no okay so primary is not open sans barlow is barlow there it is wait probably bold that's all you have to set right now i'm not sure if all his 
All his titles are italic, so I'll just add that. Uh, style italic. And the secondary is open sans um, weight normal. Okay, cool. Um, text. So, yeah, I'm just going to set text as open sans and accent as open sans maybe add some wait that's it we don't have to do much that's it global fonts now if you want you can set the typography here um I'll, I'll see if we have to do that. I don't want to waste too much time, but set your typography here so that you don't have to be doing it the whole time on the site. So I'll, we'll see how that goes. If we need to do it, we'll do it. And the buttons, I mean, the buttons are so different. Oh, there's this huge button. I'll go, and set, go ahead and set it because I kind of understand what it is. So typography is Barlow. I know. So we already chose the font. So all I have to do is click on custom and choose primary as remember primary was Barlow. So we chose it. Now all you have to do is change the primary font and it'll apply to the whole page. And what else? It looks like it's got border radius. It's got a lot of padding. We'll see what happens when we add to the page. Um, right now, I can't really see that. But the background type is not this. I want I want to choose a global color, and it's going to be what? Uh, global colors. I save that. Did we save that? Oh, we didn't save. So we have to click update first. Click update. We didn't say the global colors. Let me just go back and make sure we... Okay, so now it's there. Buttons, color, secondary. That's weird. Manage global colors, secondary. That's weird. So what I'm gonna do is just copy the blue. I want the buttons to be blue and just save it, boom. Say update. Now let's see what happens. Buttons, background, still just secondary, whatever. You can always just choose the color you want here. And this will apply to all the buttons on the page. And then when it hovers it, I just want to make it a little bit darker. That's it. So I'm just going to go hover and I'll choose the same color, but a little bit darker like that. Okay. That's it for now. I, I can't really see the thing, so I just want to start adding stuff to the page. So site settings is done. I'm going to click on back to editor. And first things first, I'm actually going to do this so we can change pages easier. Let's go to the top. First things first, we're going to add that little thing there. Free your mind, free. Just copy the text. As I said, you don't want to be copying him verbatim. You want to add, add your own stuff, but I'm showing you how you can do it. Okay, so that bar is there. It, it won't be there on your system. I'm just going to add another one, pretend. So I added, okay, so if you're new to this, click on this, it'll add a section. We only want one column, so, and this is the section we're adding. Now we're going to click on this. We want to add a heading and put it in the box. I want it to be centered. And I want the box to say free. And right here too, free your mind, free your money. Now, the background of this whole section is actually blue. So click on this uh, icon, style, background, background type, color. We're gonna choose, okay, now it works, cyan, there we go. And typography, let's see if it inherits it. Uh, heading color is going to be white. It inherits it, that's good. Now, uh, 
why is it not is not being applied it should be applied okay so something's wrong it's not inheriting the typography so let's just go to this site settings ah, I pushed it back there that's no bueno typography and body link so anyways I'm just gonna say typography primary primary all headings are gonna be primary font font primary and the body is going to be typography is going to be secondary and we we's going to save and now since i can't access this if this ever happens to you i'll show you how to do that click back to editor back to editor click on navigator so we have two sections this section i'm going to edit it i'm just going to add some margin to the top so that we can edit at the moment but obviously this bar is not going to be there we don't want this. this this has to be deleted anyways now we can edit this little thing we check so now it's it's, it's um using the font it looks more or less the same let's go ahead now we, we're going to add a big section for all this content here probably up to this up to this section here okay up to here we're going to add one section and add all this stuff here now this is awesome section one column and the section if you can see has a background image you can see that in the background and we're going to add, set that image as i said i've already downloaded all the images you're going to be using your own obviously and to set a background image you just have to click on this style background image and let's see if i can find it so it's probably this right here insert insert okay so it's there but the content is so small that it's not displaying as it should but as we add images it'll work now it's got a little bit of margin padding there i'm just going to add one padding to this whole section so click on the section add advanced em we're going to put one okay so we've got one padding all around it looks it'll look pretty good we're good to go now i want to add the logo image to do that i just click on the blocks pull over this image now i want all the content here to be um uh, text align centered so i'm going to click on the section style typography and center it so now all content is going to be centered now i want to choose a logo because he's got his logo right here and I already uploaded it otherwise you will click upload and you will uh, just upload the image your own logo now this is huge we don't want this image to be that big so we're going to change the image size to let's see if medium works okay medium works perfectly now he's got a lot of he's got all this text copy again heading now on landing pages that are not using you know don't have any SEO value you can use any type of heading you want so paste it inside there now it's white this section needs to have typography heading color white okay now um, let me check so this is probably the biggest heading now he's got this same heading here yeah it's got a whole bunch of different this is huge yeah there's no it's more or less we don't need to set typography for this we'll just uh okay so how big is this thing you just have to right click inspect and it says 58 so we're gonna add i don't like using so sorry this is the text content um styling typography size em just gonna make this if you wanted to use px just go px58 but then this is huge on mobile it's gonna be huge on mobile which kind of sucks 
but this is what it should look like. So I'm going to try and do PX EM three. You like business. Okay. This is a little bit more responsive. Now, as you can see, we don't have a way of selecting this and adding the color here. Unfortunately, we're going to have to hack this a little bit. So I'll click on the title content. We're going to be doing a little bit of HTML content. This, you have to be careful with this because, so if I want to add a color, unfortunately we have to do it like this. This is not good, but I'll show you how to do this. So I'm going to type right before the apostrophe, I'm going to write open span style style equals, I'm going to open this again, give that some space, color. Um, cyan and close it now I have to this thing that I open I have to close it right after hack open this thing slash span and it's closed so now I added a, this, the the cyan color to brain hack but uh, we want to be using the color this blue color so what we're gonna have to do is 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 is, is. I'm just what what you would do is go to site settings. This is not good. Uh, global colors and just copy, just copy the color, this value, and then close it. We didn't we didn't do anything, so there's nothing. Update. Go to this this uh, title content. We're gonna delete cyan, and we're gonna paste the the color. So we did that brain hack. Now we're gonna do it to eliminate fear and the rest of it. So go to right before eliminate fear, open, right span, space, style, equals, open double quotes, color, paste again, the color, close double quotes and close the span. And then at the end of income, where we want the color to finish, open with this slash span. This is the correct way of doing this type of stuff. Now I know that's, it would have been awesome if we could have just chosen this and added the, um, the color here. That would have been awesome, but we can't. So let's go ahead. Now I'm gonna add this little text here. Open. And I'm gonna be adding using this. I wanna use the text editor. I just wanna use these blocks here. And this is gonna be P and just add this. Now we are going to go style and increase the size of it. Typography, EM1. Okay, cool. Now video. Um, let's see if we can copy the URL of this video. We can't. It doesn't allow me to copy the URL. So just use any video on YouTube or we're gonna use any, oh no, I, I don't have to. I don't have to because all I have to do is go to blocks and just pull the video block over here. Okay, so I want to add a video, but it has these this um, this cool stuff on the sides. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. To do that, I need to add a section called intersection, and I'll pull that over and leave that here. Now it's got two columns. We only want one. I'm going to close one column and we're going to give this a width. So click on this width, let's say 500. Does that know 800? 800 looks good to me. And here we're going to be saving the Z video, Z video. So click on the space blocks, video, pull it over. And here you're going to be saving even a Vimeo, a Vimeo video is good to go. Any video you want, just paste the, paste the URL here and then set Vimeo, Dailymotion, or self-hosted, okay? Now, what we wanna do is add that effect with, this, with, um, with those paper, with those testimonials on the side. So click on this intersection, style, background, image, and as I said, I already saved this image, here it is inserts oh. 
Okay, so it's not showing as I want. It's not showing here. So probably I will have to say center, center. There we go, a little bit better. But attachment scroll, size, cover. Okay, cool. There it is. More or less, right? More or less. Obviously, this depends on screen size. Like if I, the more you zoom out, the more it look similar to his thing. How cool is this, guys? This is so cool. Now, uh, this video has some shadowing to it. We're going to add that. So click on the column. I don't want this space you see there, so I'm going to put widget space zero. No, that's not it. We're going to go to advanced and put padding zero. So the video occupies the full column space, and I'm going to add shadowing to the column. So click on the column, style, border, box shadow. So it's already there. All I have to do is maybe, maybe, so it's really a little bit there, but I, you can't see it that much. Okay, so increase the spread. There you go. That's it, just to make, show you that it's working. Let's go ahead, let's go ahead. We don't got time for this. Oh, I didn't save this image. I'm going to say, show you how to do that. If you find an image you like, obviously, I don't recommend you doing this, but just inspect the element. Click on the element and just click on. It'll show you where it is. Hover over it. Go here. Click on it. This is the image. We're going to save it. Save image as. And then you can save it. There you have it, okay? This is not hacking, this is completely legit. The problem is, if you don't have the permission to use images, you can't do that, so that's on you. For example, if I wanted to download that cool background image, I would do something like this. There it is. So I just hover over it, click on this, and I can download that image there. So, let's go ahead. Uh, so I downloaded this image. I'm not going to add it. I'm just going to do this part here. I'm going to add another heading to the bottom. Yay. Another heading to the bottom. I'm going to add the button. So I'll click on this button. You don't want to be saved there. Button. Okay, so trying to, we're gonna try and make it as similar as possible. Right click on the element, inspect. If it's not working, click on this and hover the element. So the it's always Barlow 34 px and it's got it doesn't say how much padding yeah padding 20 20 25 so i'm going to try and do that so it says join the challenge with a dollar sign dollar sign join the challenge font size is typography as i said i don't like using px but if you want just put 34 and it'll be similar. Oh, it's all caps lock. But we're going to use EMs. I like EMs. Because they're more... There we go, two. And we want to transform to uppercase. That's it. Now the button occupies the full width and this is not doing that. To do that, all you have to do is go back to content and choose alignment, justified. And that's it. You got it. That's how it is. So the buns are behaving as they should. Now I'm going to add that image right under there. Yeah, so yeah, I'm going to add that image and that's in the same um but not in this section. It's going to be or is it? Is it going to be in the same section? It could be. Let's see what happens. So, go back to blocks image so if i add it here it's going to be added in the intersection but if i add it i'll just add it here that's weird 
So it's repeating. If you see that this uh, the background image is being repeated here, how do we take that out? So click on the section style and repeat no repeat no repeat that's it but then it stops here we want to continue and we don't need it to continue what um, because we just need some black here we just need the same color over here so what we're gonna do is just go to our page and if you don't have a color picker all you have to do, color picker all you have to do is say inspect um, go to any any section here just write color and tab choose a color chocolate enter and you see this box here we're going to click on this box and we're going to click on the picker and we're going to go make sure the picker is selected and we're going to go over the section where we want to co copy the color and just going to click so that's completely black so if it's if it wasn't you just copy this and then now we're going to make um uh, okay so we can't use we can't put the image here because as it's as you see it's showing this shadow here but since the color we're gonna give this section is black it doesn't matter because the shadow doesn't show okay so we got lucky there otherwise you would have to put this image outside so it doesn't inherit we have to put it there so it occupies we'll just put it there so we're cool we're cool with this no problemos but then there's, there's these two are touching we want some space as you can see there's a bit of space there let's see what happens when we when we load the image click on image as i said i've already uh, loaded it's this one here insert there we go so that's now this image is occupying full width. We don't want it to occupy full width. Let's give it a width. Just seven. There we go. That's fine. But it's touching this, so we want to add a spacer. So just click on this spacer, pull it over, put it in between. Boom. How easy is that? Okay, so this section is done. Now I'm going to add another section for this and we're going to try to have this effect here also not easy not easy but we'll try to do that so this section is the testimonials basically i'm going to do that so add section new section with one column <clears throat> new section with one column in this section we have to add an intersection which is going to go you know do that effect where it goes upwards the intersection is this, and this is only one column, so we're just going to have to delete <clears throat> this column, hover over it. If, when you hover, you don't get these, <clears throat> sorry, you don't get these symbols, you have to click on settings. I'm not, you have to click on this, user preferences, and make sure that you've enabled edit handles which will have these little things that pop up, okay? So we want to delete this column. We're going to give this intersection a width, probably the same as the other one, 800. And I want it to have borders. Is that possible? Yep, it's possible. So we're going to give it border. Border radius, let's give it, I don't know, something like 10. I think 10 should be good. We can't see this right now because it's inside the white area. And background color is going to be white of this column, okay? Make sure you've chosen the column. Okay, now I'm gonna try and make this section go up. And I'll do that by selecting the section, advanced. I'm gonna give it a, a negative margin in EMs. Negative, 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 negative. Okay, so it's going up it's going up so this is the section and this is the intersection but it's behaving strangely so I just want the column to go up so I'm just gonna remove the intersection oh it's got no no unlink the values zero anyways we are going to give zero 
zero is going to put it back into place. We're going to make the column go up by giving it negative. Yams, unlink, top negative margins. It's not going anywhere. So, okay, I know how to do this. C cancel this. We don't need this anymore. The section is going to be going up. Negative margins because that worked. Like this. But we don't want it to have a white background. So we're going to click on, oh, only the top needs the neg negative margin. So we're going to unlink and put bottom zero. And then we're going to go style and remove the white coloring. Reset. And we're going to give the end white coloring and we're going to remove the border also. No border. And we're going to give the column white background and, and border rounded border so click on the column style background type white there you go now yep let's see okay let's see border 10 see what happens 10 so we can't see anything not sure why and we are going to give advanced zero padding to the column Okay, so basically, we've got the intersection, or we've got the section, and it's not applying the border. So, uh, the intersection has a negative margin, which makes it goes up, goes up, go up. It's got content width, which I'm going to remove, and I'm going to put the content width on the section. So, content is going to be 800. Uh, let's make it 900. Yeah, it's bigger than the top section. Let's make it a thousand. A thousand. Okay. So section uh, layout width one thousand. And now click on the on the intersection style background white. Okay. Now border. Give it a border of thirty. There we go. Now we're seeing it. 40 okay okay more or less 30 there we go now we're, we're gonna be adding the stuff inside here i know that's a little weird we're gonna add some padding to this bottom section so we can actually use it just add one em padding one okay so i can actually go in there and edit so this is the section let's go ahead and start adding stuff Discover the free money, blah, blah, blah. So heading, pull the heading. Now it's gonna get a bit crazy. So we're, it's in the section, but we're gonna give the, the section, style, typography, centered, okay. Now this is gonna get wild here because I don't know what it's doing, anyways. Heading, I want this column to have padding again, so we're going to click on advanced, remove this, and actually give it more padding. So EM, give it one, two, the 11 is not much, so just increase it to two. There we go. So this is probably going to be 4 EM. The text is going to be 4 EM. Style typography EM four. Copy into the content. Copy it, and then you will add the the color as I showed before. I won't do that because we'll be wasting too much time. And now I'll be adding these blocks here without these arrow thing images. I'll just show you how to do that. Now to do that, we will need to add another section. Let's just duplicate. No, nah, no. Nah. Hold on. Add an intersection here. There you go. 
Yep, two columns. I want two columns here. And uh, this section needs, hmm. I don't know how to do that effect actually. How is that possible? That's a weird effect. Not sure how to how to how to how to have that image in the background. You know, that parallax effect. Oh, to do that, I would need add it to the section probably let's add the back. section background choose the image again this one insert media okay it, that is weird yeah not be able not, not gonna be able to do that What if it was? Look, it was this. Yeah, I can't do it. Can't do it with these instruments here. So I'm just going to remove that. Uh, yeah, remove. And now I'm going to add these sections here, which is probably just text. text editor so I'm gonna add this text here copy I want to go text and paste just the text then I'll style it so take the challenge become bulletproof yada 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 visual take the challenge is a heading but it's being applied to the text below. We don't want that. We want, so what we do is click on challenge, back, enter. It's not, it's not a heading, this is a paragraph. So we'll just use paragraph, there we go. Back, these two are headings, but this needs to be smaller. Mm-hmm. So this is where we need the styling of the site. So we are going to go back and choose this styling. This is going to be probably the smallest header, which is 16 and this is 26 and this is 52. So let's go to the site settings, click here typography now go all the way down to h6 color we want the color to be cyan typography to be barlow but it's going to be 16 px and this other one was 26 so that's h6 then the H4, let's 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 do H5. H5 typography pixels 26. Pixels 26. That's good. And like H21 is we don't need the H21 right now, so we're just gonna say update. I'm going to go back here. Oh, we have to close site settings. Go back here. Take the challenge is going to become 86. There you go. Now, become bulletproof. It's its, it's, its own thing. I'll choose, it was H4, we didn't set the, the 
the, the, or was it H5? We didn't set it. So just click update so we save the settings. And uh, H5, H6. So this is HTML. Let's go back to the site settings. Because we need to site settings, typography. Was it H5? 25 pixels. H5 is 25 pixels. H5 is 25 pixels and H6 is 60. Oh, 26. So we'll just say 26. Again, update. Go back to editor. And if that doesn't work, I'll show you what does. So, so H5, this is an H6. It's not working. So what we're going to do is just this. We're going to... Heading. And this is going to be an H5, H6... I'm just going to see, take the challenge. And then we're just going to duplicate this double. And this is going to be an H5. That's really weird. Anyways, H5 is become bulletproof. And we're going to choose a typography. And we're going to say pixels 26. There we go. And we just have to edit this again. Just delete this. Kind of looks like this. So now this is really close to this one back there. So we're going to give it a negative margin. Click on that. Advanced. Uh, pixels. Top. I'm going to click on negative, but we want to unlink. No, let's just put zero and unlink the values and just increase the top one. Uh, put negative margin. There you go. Become bulletproof. Now I want to give this column a dark color. So I'm just going to go click on color. Give it really dark. And then I'm going to say typography, heading color, white. Text color, white. And this one, this one here should be blue. So I'll just click on it, style, text color, default, secondary. It doesn't like that. Why don't it like that? Cyan. That's bad. Looks pretty bad. So I'm just going to go to column again, typography, and I will remove heading color. So that's it. Now we already made this. Let's give it some rounded borders. Border rounded 10. So it's got, you can't see it. There you go. It's got rounded borders. Now I'm going to add some padding, I think, or margins, 1EM margins so that it's spaced out from this one. And I'm going to delete this and just duplicate this. And then I'll go in and change the text. So I'll just add time, five day commitment, etc., etc. And then I'll just duplicate this section. So I've got four boxes. If you want to know how to, these are these are GIFs. These are GIFs. If you want to give that hovering effect, what you could do is um, column. Yeah, we can't do that. Motion effects, animation, fade in. Once it comes into view, it'll fade in. You can give some <clears throat> motion effects. And the hover effect, unfortunately, you can't do that with your, with the tools, with the free tools we've got. So we've done this. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. Would have been cool to do that, that background thingamajig, but, um, it's hard. Let me just try. Okay. Let me try. 
click on the column background image choose it choose it insert so we've got it for one but I want the position let's say center center no yeah center center repeat no repeat uh, size cover and then scroll fixed so we've done it for one now let's just copy the style and paste it here oh my god we did it copy the style paste copy the style paste holy mcboli i didn't think we would have been able to do it but we did it awesome eh <laughs> okay enough 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 of that stuff this is easy i'm just gonna okay i want a spacer in there spacer title paste look at them now is actually another title this is style typography em3 okay another header boom typography style em4 content look at them now and style text color secondary blue it's a little bit more bold so you would go typography weight bold weight 900 there we go but bold would be is fine no it's not 800 okay that looks good now these are all images these are images all you have to do is add an intersection add a small spacer here and then add each image add this image add this image add this image this this whole thing is an image look if I try and select it, it's a it's it's one image. So you're gonna have to get someone to you're gonna have to take screenshots and then add this thing to the image. You can do that using the product builder, the product image builder below. I'll leave a link in the in the description. And I'm not gonna be doing that because this is not part. I mean, you can add image anyways. It's not it's not difficult. After you've added all the image, we're gonna add a nice big ass button called so we already have this button here and this uh, just copy it just say right click copy go down here and do uh, paste there you go next if you want to add some cool styling to it click on the button advanced some motion effects uh, uh yeah motion effects are right here see you can add a whole bunch of motion effects and that's it that's it that's it for free i think eh? yeah i think this is you can have that for free now we gotta do this one now this is quite similar okay let's do this Add another section, boom. In this section, we're gonna need an intersection. And I want some padding on this because otherwise I won't be able to select it. So, mm, EMs. Padding, one, that looks good. And background is a color, background type, color primary there we go it's really huge text so we're gonna click on style text color is white and typography is em probably two 
bigger than that. Three. There we go. You guys, how easy is this? Another heading. Just pull it down. Paste, it's kind of big, so we're gonna choose size, Excel. That's too big. Large. That's fine. Now we don't have timer or ticker block for this. And um, we're not gonna be doing two columns because you can't do this, you can't do this choosing thing with the free funnel builder. And um, we're only going to be doing one column. If you want to see this exact thing where you can choose which experience you want, uh, I can make a uh, training on this. You're going to need a uh, cart, cart flows pro, or you're going to need a paid plan with us to be able to do it. But I'll go ahead and just do this bit right here. So now we are going to add the content. Oh, I want to add a spacer. Oh, I added it at the bottom. I want it here. There we go. There we go. And we'll just add this stuff here. Ooh, it's a lot of value. I think you guys are able to do this. I showed you how to add um, titles. I showed you how to add this. I showed you how to add these things. I showed you how to add this. Um, I showed you how to, how to add text with a uh, background and rounding. I am going to add now the checkout form. That's right. So click on the block. Now this block is available only on checkout funnel pages. So click on checkout form, just pull it over. There we go. This is the checkout form. This is the checkout form that you need on default. That that gets uh, loaded on default. So um, let's see if we can change something. So two column is de uh, what you get by default. One column is for pro and two steps is for pro. Step primary colors. We want it to be that greeny, a little green color. Let's see if we can do that by choosing green. Okay, boom, this is so cool. Heading, let's see if I can. So one thing here is that, this is what you get out of the box, but I don't like the fact that it's all centered. So I'm gonna remove the centering from this section, tell it to be left. And then just individually tell these guys to be centered. Content centered. This centered. That's it. Now everything looks a little bit more better. A little better. Now let's see if I can what I can change with this checkout form. The heading, color, typography, you can change. You can change input fields. As I said, don't waste too much time on this man. You can change the buttons, the payment section, that's it. Now, I'm not going to show you how to uh, set up the payment section because uh, we can't do that here. But if you want a link to a video showing how to do that, just leave a comment. You know what the drill. Okay, we're going to fix this weird thing here, right, in a bit. I know uh, I promised to show up and complete. Well, we don't need that stuff. But what we do need is if you want you can add this image by clicking image unfortunately we can't add it to that area here we would ha we would need the checkout modifier which is part of pro but if you want just add this here so you know kind of makes it look a little more legit just make it smaller. Still too big, 300. There we go. 
Now let's fix this weird thing here. So probably I know what the problem is. The background is on the intersection and the curvature is on the column. So we're going to add column style background color is white. We're going to remove the background color, white background color from the intersection, which I'm pretty sure is there. There it is. Remove it and we solve the problem. So remember to have the white background color on the column and remove it from the intersection. Looks pretty cool guys. So now let's just add the frequently asked questions. Now I like, I'm going to copy the styling of this. Copy. Create a new, uh, I don't need to. I can add it directly there. So there's a spacer and there's another spacer. I want more space on this. Probably a hundred. And I add a title. And it's going to be blue. It's going to be text color blue. It's going to be a little bigger than that. So content size large. Okay. Still have paste the text. Frequently asked questions. I'm going to duplicate this. And this is going to be Excel. Actually, XXL. I'm going to give it white color. Content. Boom. Looks the same, man. Looks the same. I'm going to try to add this. It's not going to be exactly the same. Click on this. I wonder if accordions are part of the free version. These are all the pro blocks. I think accordions are part of the, oh, accordions are part of the free version. So let's add that. Okay, accordion one, accordion two. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So it's got a question mark. Let's go to accordion one. Icon, icon library. Icon library is question mark. Question. Let's just go all icons. There it is. We know how you did this. Now this is done on click funnel, so active icon. So if I click on this, ah, that's fine. Let's just leave it like that. So the title is going to be blue. Style. Title. Background. We can actually have a lighter background. So we're going to choose a lighter background. Whatever. Choose whatever color you guys want. And the color is going to be blue okay then you can obviously make it bigger ems2 that's too big 1.4 okay and the actual text content color white so there you have it guys accordions You know how to do this, this is easy, and this is easy. Just add a section with a black background, add the logo as we did on top, add all this text, and add two links at the bottom, and we're done. Now, this thing here, we can't add this because this is a sticky thing and it's not available on Elementor. You need to use your own plugin for this. You obviously, if you're using your own system, you can do that on ours. Uh, you, need, you need the pro version for this, unfortunately. That's it, guys. Um, obviously, 
you will have to, once this is done, let's say update so we don't lose all our work. But this was pretty cool. We built a nice landing page in my opinion. It, 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 it is behaving weird here. It's kind of weird. This text here is weird. So yeah. Challenge starts on October. Yeah, it's got a whole bunch of weird stuff there. I'm just going to... This block has really huge radius. Why is let's give it no. That's better. And uh, okay, so the shadow is on the column, it should be on the radius. So let's remove the shadowing from the column. Border remove and just add it on the video. Click on the video, style, advanced, border, box shadow, there it is. Just make it spread. There we go. We fixed that. Now what we want is when I click on join the challenge, it has to bring us down to this, the checkout form which I want it to be, let's say here. I want it, the user to get to this point here, okay? So we're gonna give this block an identity. So click on the block, advanced ID, check, no, not caps lock. Just write, check out, okay? Now we're gonna copy this, and we're gonna, all the buttons are gonna have, I'm gonna bring to that. So this button, click on the button, link, leave the hashtag and just write, Put checkout. Now, when I click on it, so it's, it's it has this really weird. The rounding effect is not working. So I already show you to fix that and just do it now once. Px is four. That's fine. That's better. Now, when you click on it, it'll bring down to this. Now my computer is overheating. I'm actually on a portable Mac, but a MacBook Air, so. But you, if you're on a PC, it shouldn't happen. Anyways, so you apply that thing to all their buttons so that every time someone clicks on them, it'll take them to the checkout right here. And uh, you're done, except that when someone clicks on submit, they should land on the thank you page. So we're gonna go back to our funnels. Funnels, click on funnels. We're, we were adding the checkout page. And uh, the funnel was five day challenge. I'm, you're gonna go in and edit the thank you page. Let's do that. So we're adding the thank you page. There's not much, there's not many settings you can change here unless you want to. Okay, here, there's no shipping details. If you want to have billing details, okay. Order details, order overview, that's fine. Advanced settings, uh, if you want to redirect, this is the text on the page. So I think you can edit that on the page itself. Let's go ahead and edit, do the design. So edit with Elementor. I'm gonna open this in a new tab. Close this, because we don't need it. Leave. We're gonna update this. And we're gonna close. And now, what you need to do is, you need to use the elements used on the checkout page here so that the styling is more or less the same. So figure out what bits of text you want. I would probably just use, let's see. Yeah, something like this. Just use this text with some information. You could definitely, well I would use this again. I would use this. This block, just copy the block and then paste it on the new page. Say thank you. And then, uh, 
let's just do that. Let's just do that so that I'll show you how to do that. Five day challenge, edit. Do, 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 do. We're almost done guys. This is huge, huge training. I'm dead after that. I'm gonna need to get a drink or something. Okay, so scroll down. You could either use this area here. Yeah, I'm gonna use this. Copy and just paste it on the thanks page. Paste. That's it. Leave the logo there because we like the logo. And I'm gonna say thank you. You're on your way to make big bucks. And then we're just gonna close this. Oh no, add a video. Add a video of you thanking the client and uh, explaining what they need to do next, what's gonna happen next. And uh, you should be good to go, guys. Just delete everything else you don't need. If there's a, maybe there's a Facebook group they can, they can uh, log into. So what you would do is leave this button here, click on this and then add the link to the Facebook group right here. So it would be HTTPS, Facebook, whatever the link is, just paste it here. Then you add open link in a new window and add no follow. And then just save it and you're done. And uh, you're good to go. This white space, you won't see this. This is only visible on the editing page. But I think that that's, I mean, that's just perfect. You're all good to go. Obviously, you need to have to set up your payment methods. You have to set up WooCommerce. And uh, yeah, that's, that's it, that's it, that's it. Uh, what else can I say? What else can I say? That's it for this training. As always, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments section. I'll get back to you. As I said in the beginning of the training, if you want to have access to our the system we are using, which is already set up for you, you would start up where we started from, and you want an invite to the free account, just leave me a comment and I'll give you the link for the invite. And... Um, if you feel this is uh, someone might need this, give the video a like so that the algorithm shows it to other people and subscribe because you'll be doing me a huge favor and you will be notified when I make more of these videos. That's it for me. I'll see you in the next training.